Welcome back to Metal Gear RC, and we're here in the Wrench Nut RC Garage. And today, RC Tech Tip is on how to waterproof your electronics. And you may be asking yourself, why should you do my method? Well, my method I learned while I was in the military. And after we would repair our electronics, we would then have to waterproof them for any foul weather conditions. So any moisture, water submersion, or anything like that, it won't short it out, and it will help protect it. So without further ado, I'm going to go over the materials we will need to waterproof our electronics. In this bottle here, we just have regular rubbing alcohol. This item here is the acrylic conformal coating that we will be using to waterproof the board. And the kit that I kit, that I got came with acid brushes, so we'll be using this for cleaning as well as applying the conformal coating to the board. Now, this board here is a control board for LEDs for our RC car or truck, and I've already removed it out of its casing so we can properly clean it and waterproof it. Also, I'll be using a black light, which this one here is a small single LED black light, which will be ideal for our situation. I have here some paper towels, catch the drip from cleaning as well as applying the conformal coating. And off screen, I have a hair dryer, or you can use a heat gun. Anything that blows hot air to dry it off after we clean and put a little acrylic on there and help cure the acrylic a little quicker. So for the video purposes, I'm going to be using this soldering tool here to hold the board while I demonstrate. And by taking the rubbing alcohol, we'll just go ahead and run some on top of it, let it run down, get it nice and wet, let it run, as well as we'll take one of the acid brushes, a clean, preferred clean acid brush, and we're just going to brush anything that is stuck to the board off. Make sure there's no dirt or debris. Sometimes there's some flux left on the board. You can get that off at, at the moment to make sure once you coat it, there's nothing underneath there that will start to corrode or ruin the board. So once we do that, it's nice and clean. You could do a closer inspection and make sure there's nothing there. I'm going to go ahead and take this off screen. I'm going to use the hair dryer to go ahead and blow off the rest of the moisture off the board because we want it nice and dry before we apply our conformal coating. All right, now that I've went ahead and dried off the board, we're going to go ahead and apply the conformal coating. Now, the conformal coating is clear liquid. As you can see here, let me get the camera to adjust. You see it's clear. And with the black light you use on it, it shines. It kind of glows with the black light. And before we apply it to the board, you can probably see here that the board, I mean, reflects a little bit, but when we apply the conformal coating, it's going to it's going to glow a lot brighter so taking the acid brush and you might want to do this in a well ventilated area it does have a slight fumes to it Make sure you read the safety warnings 
and advice when before using it. Get your brush nice and apply it straight to the board, nice and easy. And keep the brush wet. Now you can go a little thick with it. I usually like to go thin at first, make sure that there's no bubbles in there. And the first coat and it kind of reminds the smell reminds me of nail polish. Go to the light coat. Go ahead, I'm going to close this off real quick. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about when you're using the black light. Let's see if it, it shines, it glows a lot brighter now. Let me go ahead and I'm going to turn off this light here. So before you didn't see the light as bright, now it's a lot brighter. And you'll see that the components, where it's the thickest, it actually glows a lot, a lot brighter. So this is only like one, maybe one and a half coats here. And you can let it dry and then go with a second coat just to ensure it's coated well enough. I'm going to go ahead and do one more coat just to make sure. Don't want to go too thick, but you want to make sure you get all the nooks and crannies. That water doesn't, isn't able to get underneath it. Now make sure you don't splash it on parts that conduct electricity like these connectors here if you do you can scrape it off or or remove it it's a little hard to remove but you can remove it so if you put it together and it's not working or one of your leds is not working properly you might need to remove take it uh Take something sharp or abrasive to it and clean off those contacts so you can get continuity through it. All right, now that I got the conformal coating on there and everything looks good, there's no little bubbles here or there, and I know that it's it's nicely coated on there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the hair dryer again to help cure it and get a little harder before I put it back together. So while I was off screen, I went ahead and I dried it up with the hair dryer, but I've noticed that it was still a little thinner. I wanted to add a little, a little make it a little thicker. So I went ahead and add a little bit more. It's okay if you want to add some more. You, you got to feel confident in your job. So I went ahead and added a little bit more. And I concentrated a little bit more on the microcontroller here, the IC chip. And I made sure it was nice and thick around there. So this needs to cure before you put it back. Because if you put it back together and it's not fully cured, you can rub it off and expose the contacts, which you don't want to do. So what I did was I took the brush and I applied some here to the paper towel. And now this will be my test, so I don't have to touch this one. And I'm going to wait until this one gets nice and hard. It won't be tacky anymore. So this will be my test. So as I let this sit and dry, I will, I will be testing this one here. And now you can add a little bit more depending on how thick it is. You want to make it similar to what it is so you can get a better accuracy of it. Now it will tell you in the direction how long it will take, but me personally, 
I usually go by what it says, but for my own comfort, I like to have a little test uh, done off off to the side, so I don't have to touch this. So if if it says, let's say it says it cures in six hours, and I come here and I touch this, and it's still a little tacky, I'll give it a couple more hours, which I'll probably do that. I'll, I'll let it cure overnight, uh, which is probably the best thing to do is let it cure overnight, and it'll be ready to be put back together and be ready for use. And if you like my content, go ahead, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. And if you have any questions, go ahead, leave it in the comments below. And all the stuff you see here, I'll leave it in the description below. So if you want to know where I got the items, especially the acrylic conformal coating, I'll leave it in the description with a link to Amazon. And thanks for watching. Till next time.